Hey guys, welcome. So, whenever we create an app with a sketch, we sign it. Normally, it is okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can sign your apps with a sketch, and you can upload them to Play Store. But there is a problem. You can upload it, but in future, if you lost that project, for example, accidentally deleted it. And but you had the backup and restored it. Now you have when you sign it, Sketchware will use a different key because it is not technically the same project, and you will not be able to up, update that app to Play Store. And in another scenario, Sketchware is getting outdated when you sign your apps. These are API level twenty eight. But if you want to increase your API level, or and you want to make some changes with some other another IDE such as Android Studio or AIDE or anything else or Sketchware Pro, and then you when you export that project, the signing key is different now, and again you will not be able to update that to Play Store. So there is a solution. When you are exporting your app first time, you can sign it with your custom key using Zip Signer. Now, if you have a question, why Zip Signer? Uh, actually, there are a lot of signing softwares. They all are good, but I prefer I prefer Zip Signer because it is simple, easy, and stable. It does not have any bugs, so we can sign it with Zip Signer, and then create a backup of your key. Normally, I store it in phone memory, SD card, and in the Google Drive. and create a text file containing the password for that key store and store that with key store wherever I store it the password file is also with it so whenever I have to use it I forgot the password no problem I have the txt file and that I have the password okay so that's good but after August 2021, all new apps and games will be required to publish with the Android app bundle format. So, and uh, but Signature doesn't have anything to do it with it. But apps must target API level 30 when you upload an app bundle or APK. It needs to meet Google Play's target API level requirement by August 2021. New apps must target at at least Android 11 API level 30 by November 2021. All apps that are being updated must target at least API 11. Until then, new apps and updates must target at least over Android 10. Okay, so we need to target api level 30 so what is the point the point is that if you are targeting api level 30 you must use signature scheme v2 or v3 but zip signer uses jar signer it does not use a signature scheme okay so after august it will be of no use we have to find a other way but for now you can use it so let's see how to use open zip signer in your phone click on three dots my keys again click on three dots from here click on new key store click on continue uh, enter a key store file name here password 
कन्फर्म पासवर्ड क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू एंटर एल एस नेम देन चूज की साइज एंड की टाइप आई विल कीप दैम डिफॉल्ट एल एस पासवर्ड कन्फर्म पासवर्ड एंड हेयर एंटर द वेलिडिटी आई थिंक थर्टी ईयर्स आर गुड एंड हेयर चूज द एलगोरिदम I will choose the highest algorithm available because the higher algorithm, the difficult it is to crack. And then enter your details. now my key store is created and uh, from here i will click on choose in out then i will choose my apk which i want to sign and uh, you can see the first uh, field is uh, input file width and second is output that means after signing it will keep your file there from there choose your key and uh, here by default uh, algorithm is sha1 but i prefer sha5 to l because it provides greater security once your file is successfully signed you will see the toast here and if you go to file manager there you will find both files so this is the signed one and i will delete other because i don't want to be get confused i just want to keep one file only sign it okay for example after a long time you have same uh, app and you want to update it on the play store remember we uh, you created a key store and uh, made a backup kept two or three copies on different places so you don't miss it now you have to register that uh, key store here and sign with the same key to publish your app on play store so from here click on three dots menu my keys and again three dots register key store browse to the directory where you have the key store file tap on it enter your password it will be registered now you can sign with that key and publish your app to play store once again but if you have published with the same key when you was publishing that app first time okay guys i have put my all effort in this video to deliver the knowledge if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it uh, don't uh, press the unlike